Ohanese Ndibo, DOS slash IPOB Nigeria want to be Simon Epa and Biao GIE, as they threaten to kill Igbos if they dare protest in Southeast. Here are the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 28th of February 2024 and I have a very important information for every one of you listening to my voice right now from where you are all over the world. Dear friends and lovers of freedom, I want you to pay very good attention to this very news. Because it's very, very important, I can assure you, my people, I will not waste your time. Rather, going straight to the news and read it in details. As you can see on your screen, I will be reading from one of the Zoo Gotha media outlets, Sahara Reporters. And going by their title, they said, it was Ndibo's turn to rule. But we were robbed. But we were robbed. I want you to outline that. But we were robbed. Let Nigerians deal with their hardship. IPOB Nigeria warns South Easterners against hardship protests. Now, they are not just trying to be like the Prime Minister, Mazi Samanepa. Rather, they are also angry because they did not give Pitobi the presidency. <laughs> the chicken has finally come back home to roast. The chicken has finally come back home to roast. Now, I will not start from here. Rather, I want to refresh your memory. Let me now show you the reason I told you from the title of this very broadcast that Ohanes and Dioshin and Diama, in conjunction with IPOB Nigeria, led by the then or should i say the defunct dos now want to be like the prime minister Mazi simon Ekwa of the afro republic government in exile now let me take you back from beginning recall that before this you know protest began the prime minister had already said when they were clamoring to start the protests all over nigeria the prime minister warned and said breaking there will be no protest about Nigeria in Biafra land. There will be no protest about Nigeria in Biafra land. We are not part of them. I want you to listen and understand how somebody will miliala for Nesekwoku. After this, I will show you what the DOS has said. He said, we are not part of them. Our people must understand this. The situation of Nigeria today is a result of Biafra new dimension. There will be no protest until our declaration this year. This very statement was carried by almost all the zoo Gotha media outlets. And this was made public on the 18th of February. 18th of February. Look at the date here. And it has already gathered about six something thousand views and it was ordinarily a post not a video now after the prime minister mazi samonekwa has done this now the dos has jumped today 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 20th of february two to three days later and they made this very comment so before reading the news in details let me also show you what Ohanes and Ndioshi has to say. The same today. Today again. <laughs> Unbelievable. They said, do not join protests against Tinubu. You will be targeted. Ohanes and Ndioshi wants Igbo youths. Now, this is the title from Ohanes and Ndioshi today. And as you can see, this is Daily Post Nigeria. I want to read the statement from the IPOB Nigeria. Remember, I don't used to read their statement, but this one, because it has to do with a threat against the lives of Ndibo, I have to read it. And once you come across it, irrespective of the platform you are using to watch, please endeavor to share and make it go viral because it's very, very important. Tomorrow, tomorrow, when they will start killing innocent people in Biafra land, they will target the LGID. 
they will target Simon Epa. You know how they usually do. So it is very, very important that you share this and make it go viral in order to avert the danger ahead. Gina Sangoru is known of destroying the lives and properties of Ndibo. Some of them he set their shops ablaze in order to, dis to, to, to downgrade or destroy the name of Mazi Samanepa and of course the work that we are doing. So this has been the handiwork of China Samoru and Chike Dozieha that we do not know if they are still living. Since the kidnap of Mazi Namde Kanu, this is what they have been doing. They kill innocent Igbo people, set their shops ablaze in order to target Mazi Samanepa because of our sick at home sources. Now let me read. This was contained in a, a statement issued on Tuesday, which is today, by Emmanuel Powerless, IPOB IPOB Nigeria slash DOS spokesperson, stating that the current poverty in the country was the result of injustices committed against the Ndibo during and after the war. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB has cautioned the residents of the southeast region of Nigeria, particularly Ndiwu, not to protest against the current economic difficulties in the country. This was contained in a statement issued on Tuesday by a map powerless IPOB Nigeria and DOS spokesperson, stating that the current poverty in the country was the result of injustices committed against Ndiwu during and after the war. He cautioned Ndibo not to join any protest against hunger in the country. Any Nigerian agent who dares to organize any protest in Biafra land will regret it. Now the threat has begun. Let me take that again. He cautioned Ndibo not to join any protest against hunger in the country. Any Nigerian agent and who dares to organize any protest in Biafra land will regret it. Remember how the Prime Minister put his statement out there. Since, for the past three days ago, since 18th of February, and these imbecilic animals today, because I want to be Simon Epa. Simon Epa everywhere, we have fire everywhere. Let me be like him. Let me do like him. Let me put out a statement. I pub Nigeria. I pub Nigeria, Ganu Zui, Kezuka, Anuni, Keyo people have been defeated. You people have been exposed. Gakwanu Nuzui, Ke, I pub Nigeria. Now they continued. The current hardship in Nigeria shouldn't be our concern. We were abused, intimidated, beaten, and killed, and denied voting rights during the election of this present government. If, have you seen the, their problem? their anger because they were denied voting rights now they said Igbos we are told to wait that it is their turn to rule the story changed during election the aftermath of the elections was the demolition of Igbo properties and investment in the west and northern parts of the country has anyone or group organized a protest against the demolition of Igbo's properties in the west and north. Anyone who organizes any protest against economic hardship in our land will put us in danger. Now they continued, Ndibo should leave the current economic hardship of Nigerians to deal with because this hardship is what God Almighty Chuko Kikabiyama has in stock for Nigeria for the crimes they have committed against us between 1967 to 1970 and up to date. We understand that Igbo are equally affected by the economic hardship arising from the reckless and thoughtless economic policies of Emilokon, but God Almighty Chuko Kikabiyama is still seeing us through. All this summon is not actually the reason why I'm reading this very news, but I want you to pay attention, please. Igbo have gone through the worst economic crisis and emerged victoriously during the war against us. By the grace of Ezechuku Kikabiyama, we shall also triumph over the current Emilokon's imposed economic hardship. When eating in the same pot with an enemy, you must use a very long spoon. That long spoon is what Ndebo requires at a time like this. 
Anyone or group now listening, the time has come for the threat which they are now planning to use against us. He said, anyone or group that want to organize a protest for Nigeria hardship should kindly go to the northern or western Nigeria and stay such protest there. Our legion is battling with insecurity, kidnappings and killings. We have much in our hands to do. We will not allow anyone or any group to use the arrangement of protests to import more agents of destabilization into our territory. Now listen. ESN is ready to take on anyone who will want to organize hunger protests in our land. Therefore, the IPOB intelligence unit must be on high alert to identify those planning to destabilize our land with senseless Nigeria hunger protests. So why the threat? So why the threat? Why are you threatening people? Mazi Simonekwa put his own words a couple of days ago, or should I say many days ago, concerning this same protest, banning the Nigerian protest in Biafra territory. He didn't say Igbo land. He said Biafra territory. He banned as the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic government in exile. He has the power and authority to do so. He did not threaten anybody. He didn't even mention ESN because whenever you hear them mention Eastern Security Network ESN, they are using it against Mazinam Dekan who formed it. And I can authoritatively tell you today that there is nothing like ESN again. What we have now, as long as Biafra land is concerned, is Biafra Liberation Army, Biafra Resistance Fighters, and Biafra Navy, which is Dragon Marine. That's what we have. All the old members of the Eastern Security Network, the genuine ones indeed, have all been integrated into the Biafra Liberation Army. I don't know why or where they, they are getting this name anymore because Mazinam Dekano, who is in the custody of the DSS, is the one who formed Eastern Security Network ESN. So they are now using it the same way the zoo, military and police have been using the name ESN and IPOB. That is what they are doing. Because they know very well that there is no more ESN. It is now Biafra Liberation Army, controlled by the BLGIE, the Biafra government in exile. So when you hear them using this word ESN, they are trying to implicate Mazinam Dekano the more. So when they kill whoever they want to kill, which they have already planned, they will now say ESN has done the has done it. That's all. That is exactly what they, they are doing. Now they say, but Igbo will come out of this one too, unscatched. We will see how serious Nigerians are and how well they are handling the protest. If we catch anyone, now listen my people if we catch anyone organizing hunger protests in our land they will have esn operatives and ipop volunteers to contend with and the person will smell pepper hmm. do you have to threaten them the man with the mandate the man with the mantle at the moment mazi samanekba has said no protest. He has banned any zoo protests in Biafra territory, and that's why they are crying. The Fulanese are crying. Let me show you, before I complete this one, let me also show you what they are saying. This is from the Fulani. They say, Economic hardship. I don't know why Southeast is quiet. X N H I S Bose Yusuf. Have you seen it? This is from Fulani. They are crying that Igbos are silent, Southeast is silent, South South is silent. When others are crying, protesting against Tifnubu and the drug lord, Igbos are silent. Biafrans are silent. What is going on? Because the Prime Minister, Biafra Republic Government in Examazis Samonekpa, has banned any hardship, economic hardship of Nigeria protests in Biafra territory. The North, the Fulanis are crying, the Yorubas are crying. So, why threatening the innocent people? If we get now, they said here, in conclusion of their own threats, they said, allow Nigerians to carry their cross, because if we do, Chukwo Kikabiyama will be annoyed with us. MFA Owa Chukwo Kikabiyama, do you know God? Do you know God? Umwekwen Sunebusu Munefa, do you know God? 
unu na egbo mu nno unu na nwari fefa melo e ma chuku e ma do chuku now he said our leader mazinam de kanu oku chuku kanu prophetically mentioned this before now ibo should stay calm resolute and unbreakable because the situation will be over soon in our favor that is from ipop nigeria have you seen it now why i made it very open to everybody is because whenever you hear them make this kind of comment these are people who always like to use opportunity whenever you see them make this type of comment they have targets and their target is to eliminate you all understand them please in what those are to say everybody must be careful and if you hear them singing the name of simon Ekpa tomorrow that means they have done something and they want to target simon you know why they are not resting even if they have resigned from ipob do you know why they are not resting they are not resting because what they have taken from nigeria they have to pay it back they did one which is you know extraordinarily renditioning mazin and the sabotaging mazin and the canoe but now they have failed to stop Biafra from coming. That is why they are not resting, even though they are no longer, you know, fighting for freedom. Thank you, my people. To salon and make it go viral.